Today we're at Cambridge Stud to acknowledge the Queen. We actually are really proud and privileged to have had Her Majesty as our patron. The Queen is really racing's greatest ambassador. Um, I think we always see from the footage how candid and relaxed and of the Queen when she's interacting with her horses and I think that shows what uh, thoroughbreds meant to the Queen and racing. With the help of this Irish man who worked for us, we wrote a letter to Buckingham Palace inviting her to come and open the building. And while we were composing, constructing the letter, we asked her if she could be, accept the honour of being the patron of the thoroughbred breeders. So we added that to the letter and off it went. And it didn't take all that long for it to come back and say she would be delighted to accept the office of patron. And it was a lifetime achievement for me doing that. It was very special today to have Sir Patrick Hogan present, especially as the Queen visited Cambridge Stud in 1990. And Sir Patrick actually coaxed the Queen into coming to Cambridge Stud and visiting him and having lunch. I'd like to acknowledge Karina Holmes who works in our TBA office who encouraged Sir Patrick to come today. I think I guess it all started when I got a phone call to I think it was Lee Taylor who worked for me as secretary and said well boss uh, there's uh, somebody on the phone who wants to talk to you. The person on the phone said uh, I just didn't want to inform you that uh, um, the Queen's going to visit your stud. And I said, yeah, not going to fall for that one, Philip Valor. You, you haven't got me. And uh, I thought it was Philip Valor. So anyway, and I hung up. Lee came back to me and said, you're on the phone again. Put the phone to me ear and the very gentleman guy said, yes, that was me that just rang you before. And he said, I do want to for inform you that you do most definitely are having a visit with the Queen, if you'll accept it. So we got all set up to have the Queen. Gardens all looking great, we had everything set up. She also requested that if she could have lunch with us. She arrived in the car and uh, pulled up in front of the stable, hopped out of the car herself without any, um, anybody helping her and came straight across to my good self and my family and started pleasantry straight away, shaking hands and um, getting the introductions. So uh, it was fantastic. You know, I was hosting her to look around Cambridge Stud and uh, inspect the Tristram. And uh, believe me or not, I think she was hosting me. She picked the whole menu, which she did back at the palace, of course. And I didn't have to say, ma'am, would you like a drink? What would you like in it? She just said, yes, I'll have a gin and tonic. It's much to say that I've already asked the question. The only thing that I re don't regret, because it's not a regret, but I afterwards thought oh, I should have told the caterer, for God's sake, don't wash the cutlery and stuff. <laughs> I want the lipstick on the gin and tonic, and I want the lipstick left on there. Still dwell on the uh, visit to Cambridge Stud, which was uh, just so proud that, that she came. It was pretty special today that Sir Patrick wore his medals. First time he's said that he'd worn them in public. He received that honour from the Queen. That shows how special it is and um, what an amazing ambassador and influential person he has been for the New Zealand thoroughbred breeding industry. I always think it's strange that suddenly you become a knight and you get get knighted and honoured when whereas really I think if it's good enough for one to be knighted it's good for the other one to be a dame and not that Justin would have liked that she wouldn't have probably liked it at all. We worked side by side right from the start from 21 years old. A lot of you know, partners and wives can't get there without the support that they get and which I got you know 100% all the way. Sometimes I have to pinch myself and think a cheeky little fellow that was a schoolboy and then went farming and uh, of no real note or consequence and uh, to think that that climb from where I was 
when I was a young fella to where I was when you've got somebody like the Queen actually visiting. It's um, amazing, amazing. <laughs> <laughs>